Okay, going into the 22nd of fall, we we're right and right, we're getting, oh my goodness, this is getting down to it here. I need more kegs. Speaking of which, the plan for today is to get more kegs. Um, good things to you. Not too bad, not too bad, kind of, not too bad. Um, bit of a deer in the headlights. For those of you who may be watching this on YouTube, I was nearly ready to stream tonight. So close to being ready to stream, and yet somehow, so far away. All right, uh, the whole plan for tonight is I, I found out last night, uh, I was talking with Diana about my, my Stardew career, since she knows more about Stardew than I do. Um, turns out Maru loves gold bars, which are way, which are way, technically way less money than diamonds. And I have a lot of gold bars. So I think what I'm going to do is give Maru gold bars, because gold bars I think sell for 250 and diamonds sell for 750 so every gold bar I give Maru, I'm saving 500 gold. So I'm going to give, start giving her gold bars. Um, the wine is done in the quarry. This is actually a key day because the wine in the quarry, basically I'm going to be, you've hit a deer, not my case. Um, the wine in the quarry, it's going to be a key day because a lot of wine is done. In fact, most of my wine is done. So however much money I make today off selling wine, that's how much I can expect to make next time I get my starfruit wine done. We're done, right? So this is today is a pretty important day in terms of uh excuse me a moment today's a pretty important day in terms of star for one um still gotta try and grind out some more kegs gotta fill the basement with kegs and then start on the uh bus road tunnel thing also today I want, there's a couple of monster slayer goals i want to try and bang out i only need three void spirits and five rock crabs to finish those two monster goals um both of which i should be able to do in the regular mine without having to go to the desert so I'm hoping to bang those out today as well. We'll see how the time goes. Uh, but first things first, let's talk to Maru. Do I need to check the greenhouse today? I can't remember. Look at all of the wines. All right, I'm going to go. We'll talk to Maru in a second. Let's go get her daily gift. We got 37 gold bars. That is going to be more than enough. What up, Maru? I think I'll visit my parents today. I haven't seen them in a while. Hugs and kisses. All right. So I'm going to grab... Oh, I should just grab some starfruit right now and take it with me. Why not? Um, and at some point, I really need to start, like, thinking about what I'm going to sell. Um, what did I just do? Oh, I grabbed the truffle oil out of the thing and didn't... Oh, well, whatever. All right. So, here is the plan. Let's check the greenhouse. Um, can make a few more kegs. That's good. Actually, that's awesome. Um, what else can I do right now? Where should I put my diamonds now, then? I guess I'll stick them... Maybe we'll put them in here or something? I'll move them from inside stick them there. Um, okay, I've already forgotten what I'm doing. What am I doing? We gifted Maru more kegs that okay so basically just regular stuff let's let's check the farm out we'll grab whatever uh oak resin we can i'm gonna grab a screenshot i think i gathered oak resin from the lower farm last time so i shouldn't have to this time that is correct we just have two more over here in the trees we'll grab those we will swing by the greenhouse and see which tree is it there it is the tree in behind the tree I was looking at, which is not the tree I thought I was hitting. Uh, we'll quickly check the greenhouse and just see if anything's done. Ah, yes, I do need to do the greenhouse today. I have also not had any triple shot to drink. So here's what I'm going to do, actually. I just had a brilliant idea. Oh, there's more starfruit done, too, actually. I should deal with that. Uh, let me grab some starfruit seeds here. I do need to get more starfruit seeds. Probably pretty soon, actually. Or did, I thought I did all right, didn't I? I thought I already bought starfruit seeds and I stuck them on Ginger Island. I thought that was a thing that happened. I feel like I feel like that was a thing that happened. Because they're not here, so if I did buy them... I could check. I mean, it doesn't take long to check. That would be worth checking. Because I do need more seeds here. I only have 68 and I need... What was the number? I keep forgetting the number. The soles of his shoes. Um, I keep forgetting the number I need. It's like 120 minus 4, 116 minus 24 is... Let's go 120 minus 24 first. 98. 
96, 96, minus 4 is 92, 91. So I need at least 91, and I only have 68. So, so close to being nice. So I need like 30 or 23 more Star Root Seeds at least. Um, okay, do I have enough wood? Oh, I do. I can make four more kegs. I should also check the... Um, before I put these kegs down, I should also check the uh, train station. So let's quickly go put these kegs in the basement, and then what I will do is I will, on my way down there, I'll start throwing coffee beans into the various kegs. And then any extra can go in the basement. Actually, let's do that. I'm not sure why my inventory is so unorganized. I can't remember what happened there. There we go. Okay, so let's drop some more kegs down. Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm going to put the, put that stuff in here. Oh, no, I will be back, though, won't I? Yeah, I will be back, because I'm going to want to put uh, star fruit in these four kegs. Which I will do when I come back after doing the quarry. I'll do the house after that as well. So, um, next thing's next. Let me deal with some inventory. I can leave the truffles in here. I think pretty much everything else I can either sell. Oh, no, I can put that star fruit in there. Uh, I can probably sell everything else or it's staying on my person for whatever reason. So what are we going to sell? We're going to sell... Let's get some stuff organized here. That's being kept. That's being kept. Those are going in kegs. Uh, we're going to sell the truffle oil. We're going to sell the torches. Put my star fruit up there. Going to burn through that. Do that. Uh, we're going to sell that. Those are the, the, not selling the apricots. We're keeping the apricots. Uh, we're going to plant the tree fertilizer. And I'll throw a jade in this chest for the next time I go to the desert. Okay, so let's run up to... Where are we going? I want to get the wine done, but I just want to check for... if I see if I can make any more kegs. So let's go to the... Um, let's go to the train station. Answer to Life Universe and everything's 42. If only. If only. Well, let me check the, this while I'm here, I guess. Already wasted a lot of time today. May as well pick this stuff up, too. I also forgot to swing by the shipping bin to sell things, but whatever. We'll do it when we come back. Alright, so, axe at the ready. If I see a tree, we're cutting it down. I did not start my animation cancelling. There we go. Lovely. That's one tree. Up to 114. I can almost make four more kegs. If there's no oak resin dust, there is, sweet. That's exactly what I need. Oof, nine. Didn't bring any acorns or anything with me, which was an oversight. But I'm getting some. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Let's just plant this one right here. Boop, and then fertilize it. Boop. And we'll fertilize maybe that one there. That's two fertilizers taken care of. Let's get these these guys ready to go. Switch back to my axe. Okay. I don't think I'm going to have enough wood to... Uh, plant, or to make nine more kegs. Ooh, I'm close, actually. I only need 40 more wood. Here's one tree. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got enough. <laughs> Just. Wood is going to be the problem, I think. Like, wood is going to be a bit of an issue for me here. Really, like, got a decent amount of, you know, ore and or iron and copper, and I'm 
getting, you know, a decent amount of oak resin. But I only have 42 wood. So that's going to be a problem. All right, so let's go over to the mine. Um, I want to grab these hazelnuts as well, so I can give them to Kent in the form of roasted hazelnuts. Uh, what are we going to do? Oh, I can give Kent. Totally forgot about that yesterday. Where's Kent at? Right there, yeah. I need to gift Kent as soon as possible, actually. I'll try to do that today. Let's throw some more stuff in the furnaces. Do I have anything important right now? No, we'll throw in some copper, I guess. I'm gonna have to buy some more coal probably as well, actually. Alright, let's go work on these kegs. Let's go to the quarry. Farm is hype. The farm is hype. Farm life, though. Okay. One, two. Switch to the silver quality. I mean, I could pack a few more kegs in here or whatever, but... Honestly... If I need to, I can. I mean, well, that's, here's the thing. I'm not going to fill, in the next month, I'm not going to fill the entire city. There's so many other places I can put kegs. I can put kegs by uh, the blacksmith. I can put kegs along the mountain road. Like, there's a lot of places I can put kegs. So... Um, I'm not going to fill the entire... I mean, like, there's, you know easy room for, like, 1,500 kegs or something ridiculous like that. Um, so... And I'm not... There's no way I'm gonna hit. There's no way I'm gonna be able to make that many, even, and still have 10 million gold, you know, at the end of the year to buy the golden clock that I need to buy. So... Uh, I'm not too worried about completely 100% maximizing keg space, because there's no point. Triple shot just ran out. Mountain Rose, my new favorites. But what was up, Crypto Green? Yeah, th that's the thing. Like, part of me is thinking. It kind of. Part of me is a little bit triggered that I didn't maximize like the quarry here. Like, there's, you know, I could pack a few more kegs in or whatever. But honestly, there's so many other places to put kegs. And that's not even counting. Like, I could put kegs on Ginger Island. I could put kegs in the desert. Like, there's no way in the next, you know, five weeks in, in game. That's uh. I didn't miss any kegs, actually. There's no way that in the next five weeks in-game, I'm going to be able to have... Even if I could have that many kegs, I wouldn't have the money at the end of it all, so... Alright, let's go th quickly throw in... Some iron this time. Have you got any thought to hijacking the casino? Oh, yeah, I guess I could do that. I could, uh... No, wait, you can't get money out of the casino, though, can you? You can only get the key coins or the chi coins or whatever. If you get money out of the casino, yeah, I'd totally do it. I would totally go for that. Why do I have so much stuff on me? I couldn't pick up that seed. Oh well. Um, but yeah, anyways. Alright, let's sell some stuff to begin with. Sell the sap, sell that, 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 sell that. Uh, sell that. Um, I'm tempted to sell those right to Pierre, actually. I'm not sure what I want to do there. Also, during the winter, you can just, you can put cakes where your crops need to be on the farm. And, and another perfect example. Another excellent example could totally do that. So, yeah. Maximizing, I mean, my, this challenge is only five weeks away from being done. So, it's, what am I worried about right now? Honestly. Okay, uh, let me just go make a roasted hazelnut. Give that to Kent here in a bit. Uh, let me grab... Oh, I do have some more coffee beans I can throw in. And let's grab... Uh, we'll grab those guys later, maybe. Let's do the kegs first. Ah, let's go there. Not to rehash this topic too much, but the idea was to use Blade's predictor to double down at the blackjack table and convert to farm warp time. Oh, right, yes, good point. So you can technically use that for money. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I mean, my my guess, my I figure that 
if it comes to that, and if I ha if I have to go that route to finish the challenge, I'm gonna consider myself having failed. <laughs> like if it gets to the point where I'm having to do essentially kind of like not exploits, but like the desperation strats. I mean, th the thing about it is that this this challenge is completely possible. Like it's not even you know it's so doable. You know what I mean? Like. It's just that I didn't play well in the first year, essentially. You know, I should have just focused on one... I should have, say, for example, focused on um, uh, making money in the first year, getting the farm all set up, treating it almost treating it like a one-year ch money challenge run. And then I would have been laughing for money, not had to worry about money, and then I could have... Uh, um, you know, been laughing for money. Instead, I... Basically, um, kind of cut, cut things way too close. Thin, thin things. Things were just yeah, just kind of spread myself too thin in the first year. So, um, that is essentially what happened. Spread myself way too thin in the first year, and uh, I am now paying for it. In that, am I going to be able to finish this? I don't know. We shall see. I kind of want to leave this pet gap open a little bit so I can at least walk straight down there if I need to get down there. So let's do that. And we'll finish this up. Okay, so 874 silver quality left. That's not too bad. Um, 465 starfruit wine. I guess it sells for 3150, right? Is it 3750? I think it's 3150. I think it's 3150. Starfruit, 3150. Yep, okay. So, 3150 times 465, 1. 1.4. I might have just pulled this off. I might have just pulled this off. Because today's the 22nd of fall, which means I'm going to have one, two, three, four. Oh, no, wait, hold on. That's not right. I'm going to have four. So at the end of today, I'm going to have two and a half million, roughly. Let's, let's say two and a half mil. Ooh, yeah, no, I'm still gonna it's still gonna be close because if even if I make one and a half million a week the rest of the way out, that's six million in December. I'm only gonna have two and a half right now. That's eight and a half million. And that's without buying more star fruit. So hopefully I'll have enough you know crops and stuff at the end of it all to um you need 331 70 wines. Well, what I'm hoping is I have enough, like these pumpkins, for example. Well, I should, in theory, I might have enough star fruit. That's the other question. Am I even going to have enough star fruit? Because I, okay, because how many kegs do I have right now? I've got three, 638 kegs, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 of them. I'm not using for that. So I have 326 kegs, right? 626 kegs right now. Am I even going to have an... I don't know if I'm going to have enough star fruit. I don't think I'm going to have enough star fruit. I don't think... I don't think. Is it worth... Okay, so here's a question. No, it's, it's definitely worth growing the starfruit, because, like, even pumpkins aren't... Like, a base starfruit sells for seven fifty. a base pumpkin's three twenty. dollars so I should, I should keep growing the starfruit. But my next starfruit harvest happens on the 24th. That's going to be another 600, let's say. And I'm going to get 600 every two weeks... But I'm only gonna get no wait. I I know I'm using I think I'm using 
speed grow on the on the ginger island farm though so i'm gonna get 600 every 10 days but i'm using up 600 every week and i have right now so i've got basically two and a bit weeks worth so the star fruit i have is going to last me until like the car I have right now will last me two more weeks for sure. It will for sure last me two more weeks. So um, I just put in star fruit today on the 22nd. And then on the first of fall, that's taken care of. On the eighth of fall, that's taken care of. By then, I should have, because it takes 10 days, so 24, the fifth. So I'm going to get. 600 star fruit here, which will last me one more week. Okay, good. No, I will have enough star fruit. It'll be fine because I'm going to get at least two more harvests. So I will for sure be able to, I'm going to get more harvest than that. So I'm going to for sure be able to um, keep my kegs filled with star fruit wine until the last week. The last week of winter is when I'll put in some pumpkin, pumpkins for the last batch because pumpkins only take three, four days, four days, three and a half days, something like that. So. Basically, once I've put, I'm going to gather wine on the 22nd. After that, I can just sell star fruit. So what does that mean? That means, because if I'm getting star fruit every 10 days, um, on the, what day is it done again? The 24th? Yeah, 24th. 24th, it's done. Boop. The 5th, the 14th. Wait, is that right? 25th. Okay, hold on a second. If I plant star fruit, that's fall. If I plant star fruit with speed grow, deluxe speed grow, yeah, it's 10 days. Seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, basically 10 days. So if I plant on the 24th, that means I'll get a harvest on the 5th, the 14th. The 23rd. So I'm only going to have two more harvests. Well, because I'm going to get 5th, the 14th, and the 23rd. You know what? I just got to keep playing. I mean, honestly, nothing changes. It really doesn't matter that, like, the point is that I don't have a guarantee right now, as I'm not, because I still have to buy more starfruit seeds, and that costs me, you know, a quarter of a million every time. So that, in fact, that's going to cost me, what's that even going to cost me? That's going to cost me, how many more harvests do I have? I think I already bought the star fruit I need for this next one, but uh, we're going on, to the, on the 24th. So I have that, but then on the 5th, yeah. So one, two, three. I'm going to need to spend another 750,000 on star fruit seeds. So... To be honest, I I feel like I'm gonna be able to pull it off. I really do. I just I just don't know that yet. Are you getting much money for Rudigan bars? No. Again, I am not good enough in the Skull Cavern to make that a viable um a viable option for finances for financial planning. This is why I'm focused so much on the kegs because if I spent time in in the uh, in the quarry, literally nothing good's going to happen. Oh, there he is. It's like, where the heck is Kent? He's back here. Okay, so we should need one more gift for Kent, and that should be it. I think. So I think I needed 125 friendship points. Uh, check up. Uh, I was looking at social show details. Kent, 128. So I just got 80 or 90 or something. I need 30 more, but I'm going to lose two. So we should be fine. So if I give Kent one more gift, we should be good. Okay, uh, let's focus on wood. Um, see, the other problem, of course, is that I may end up needing to buy more copper, or buy more iron, or whatever. So it's kind of that that balancing act between 
the needs and the wants. I might leave the tr it's the twenty second. I might leave the trees. There are a handful there, but I might need them for tomorrow though. I'm wasting so much time going around getting trees. I really am. Where are the trees? Uh, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, maybe I should go south first. Get that one. Get those two. Come back. Might leave that tree up by the secret woods. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so straight down. Yeah, that's the other thing I'm not factoring in is that like, I, I feel like I might make it with the crops. I just need to be a little bit careful because... I don't want to, you know, buy a bunch of iron or copper or wood that I'm not going to be able to use. So, I do have to be a little bit careful of that. I mean, I still need to do some Skull Cabin runs because I still have to finish the Monster Hunter goals. Oh, which I was also going to do today. Maybe I'll do that after, I've, after I do this. I've got a couple Monster Hunter goals I can do real quick and easy. Um, the Void Spirits and the Rock Crabs. Void Spirits are probably a little bit easier than Rock Crabs because at least you can tell where the Void Spirits are. What I'm hoping this will do is this. I'm hoping this will tide me over for whatever oak resin I get tomorrow. That's kind of my hope. I don't know that. It, I mean, it should. I mean, how much oak resin am I going to get tomorrow? Am I going to get nine oak resin? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, the other option is just to, you know. That's the thing, like, th this is the thing that bugs me, is that, like, just not knowing, because I could go right now and buy everything I need to make all the kegs I could possibly want. Oh, there's more trees there, actually, I should grab those. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I could, I could just, I could just go do it right now. I mean, I definitely shouldn't buy any more ore or anything, because, um, I still have... 30 some bars. So I shouldn't buy any of that right now. But. Um, but yeah, things are a little. Uh, hmm. I don't know. You know what? We'll see. I'm just going to keep grinding out these kegs. Every keg I make, even if I gotta pay a bit of money for it, it's still I'm still gonna make a profit, right? Even if I, um, even if all I do is, you know, buy. <laughs> Whoops. Is there anything in that chest? I hope not. Buy a, one keg at a time. I would. I'm still gonna make money. So it's still worth it to. Uh, to buy the kegs. If I have to buy the iron and buy the copper and buy the coal and whatever, I'm still gonna make I'm still gonna make money in the end. It's not gonna cost me more than I make. It's just where's that tipping point where it stops being worth doing and starts becoming a little sketchy. Alright, I don't have enough copper to refill the furnaces. I'm running out of coal too. I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to buy some coal here. Uh, let's go to level 80, I guess. Let's see if we can find a few void spirits and rock crabs and things. Hey, look at that. There we go. That's the void spirits done. Hoping to find some rock crabs as well. Might as well look for resources while I'm here. Question is, how am I gonna find rock crabs? I mean, I guess I could. You know what? Actually, rock crabs might be easier in. Rock crabs might be easier. In oh, there's one. Rock crabs might be easier in the skull cavern. 
to be honest. Um, hey, I got an auto petter. Nice. I can use that for the pig. Since I destroyed my, uh, I destroyed my coop, but before I pulled out the uh, the auto petter. All right, uh, let's head back to the house. Uh, I guess I could probably leave the gold ore here. We have nine more coal. That's real not great. That is real not great. Is it worth my time to go grind out some coal? Or... Do I just buy it? That is the question. That is the question. I don't actually know. You know what, I do have a little bit of time left. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter though. I wonder... Hmm. You know what I should do is, I should... Maybe I could get this hay. Speaking of wasting time, I could get more hay, because my silo is, like, not f super full right now. I could just go grab a bit more hay, because I'm pretty sure, even if I sell the pig, I should be able to take the hay out of the... Out of, out of, out of like, use the uh, thingy in the barn to get the hay out. So that's so my goodness, I'm not going to make it home if I'm not careful here. Um, so, I mean, really, how much does hay sell for? Not much, but every little bit helps. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Oh, we got those two. Crap. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, do this. Do that one at least, and then quickly up here, see how many of these we can do. What the heck just happened? Oh, for goodness sakes, I keep... Dang it! I missed a keg. I missed two kegs. I keep getting the stupid... I keep grabbing the stupid window off the side of the house. Crap. Okay, so we almost made one and a half million. Uh, we definitely want to get some more kegs. I gotta move... I might move that window, actually. That window's gonna be... Hey, I got the legend achievement. Alright, so those kegs are gonna be a day behind. Oh, well. Uh, where is Waifu? There she is. Let me grab her gold bar. Okay. How, how am I doing with Maru here? We're up to 11. This is good. We're making some moves on some hearts with Maru. Okay, so I don't need to worry about some... Um, much of a call today, the greenhouse. It's got a lot of lot of oak resin ready though, so that's good. Clint sent me a copper bar. Nice, Clint, that's actually super useful. I should oh my goodness, I keep forgetting about oak uh, the triple shot. Ooh, we got a we got a nice solid amount of oak resin. That is awesome. That's real good. Okay, this tree is in my way. Something else is in my way. No idea what. Oh my goodness, everything. Oh, there's a mushroom there? There's a mushroom there. That's what it was. There we go. Uh, let's just check the greenhouse. I think we've replanted everything recently. Yes, we have. We got 17. Dang. So close. I need like 27 more wood. Let's go get these kegs going. Um, where can I get 27 more wood? Let's check down here. Any trees here I can chop down? I literally just need 27 more wood. Is there a tree that's close by? 
There's one tree. Oh, there are a few, actually. There are a few. As much as it pains me, as much as I don't want to take the time to do this. Let's get 27 more wood. more down here somewhere. Here they are. Oh, there's three more. Oh, two more. I mean, one thing I could do, actually, you know, one thing that might be worth doing at this point is going fiber hunting. Because if I get fiber, I can make uh, tree fertilizer, which means I can get my trees to grow faster, which means I get more wood. So that might actually be worth taking the time to do. It's just absolutely just farming as much fiber as I possibly can. That might be a thing that needs to happen. Um... Possible to get fiber from the desert trader on Tuesdays. For what? Why do you need to trade to do that? Uh, wiki. Cost five stone per fiber? On Tuesdays, you say? Five stone, though. I mean, I am in kind of a pinch. Do I really want to spend? I, mean, I do have a decent amount of stone, but I would burn through it if I... I've got, what, 1,700 stone here. I could get some. I still have 1,000 stone left. Let's do that. Thanks for the tip. Uh, let's do that. Let me make this last keg, and we'll get the star fruit in it. And... Uh... I also have good luck farming floors 15, 25, 95, 105 to get fiber from elevator floors. Interesting. Yeah, that might be the play. Because, I mean, it was going to take a lot of time to do it, but the amount of money it's going to save me is... Because, again, wood is a significant problem right now, and the tree fertilizer is super OP. Like, it's so nice. So yeah, I should probably do that. So let's do this. Let me put that back in there. Let me grab whatever fiber I've got. Um, if I have any here, I don't. Um, so let's go to... First thing I'm going to do is go to Ginger Island and just make sure I have all my starfruit seeds. I'm pretty sure I do, but let me just make sure I have everything ready to plant tomorrow. Six hundred and ten. Okay, that's good. Uh, so that's ready to go. So, now let's go to the desert. Let's go talk to the desert trader. May as well trade in my jades while I'm here too, actually. Oh, wait, I have other jades I should have brought. Crap. Oh well. Uh, and I'll grab a bunch of this stone. Alright, how much fiber can I buy with all of this? Well, a hundred or something, or... Yeah, a hundred and some. Couple hundred. I think it's five per. So this is only gonna make. Wow. This tree fertilizer is. Where is it? Five fiber, five stone. I can make 40 right now, which is a good number. But wow, that's a lot of stone. Oh, Alright, let me. Uh, let me just try and balance out my fiber and my stone here, maybe. Or at least kind of get close-ish to it. Alright, that's, that's as much as I dare. Alright, what do we have? 47, sweet. Okay, let's go get this stuff down. I should point out that if you have a deconstructor, you can deconstruct staircases for 99 stones that convert that to fiber. That's a thought. 
I do have quite a bit of staircases, but I kind of want to hang on to them for... Well, I still have more jades, and I have a jade and a crystal arm, so maybe... Hmm. Uh, it's one of those things that I probably should do, but I'm worried that... Um, I might do it prematurely and then need them for... And then end up needing the staircases for something. Hmm. Wait, do I need to... It's a new day. I gotta gift Kent today, don't I? Yeah, I do. Alright, we'll try and remember to do that as well. Because that should be it. When, when, if I give Kent one more love gift, we should be done. Max friendship with everybody, which is awesome. We need to go, in all, go all in on the fiber. That's fair. Alright, so I'm going to try... Johnny 5 deconstructed to dead. I'm going to try... To only fertilize things that are the youngest. So anywhere I see just a seed, we're going to fertilize those, and then we'll kind of go from there. Just any plain seeds anywhere? One there. One over here. A couple up there. Then what I'll do, I am gonna go. I'm gonna get through all of this fiber. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to uh, these non-oak trees. <laughs> I know, right? I just need the wood, though. Like honestly, I'm not even. If I was gonna use all of these trees for oak resin, no problem. But right now, my big limiting factor is fiber, or er, is uh, wood rather. So. Again, if I had spent more time focusing on making money in the first year, we wouldn't, wouldn't have this problem. So I would have got the show, would have got this tree farm growing way sooner, would have had more oak resin sooner, and then wouldn't have had to worry about it. Okay. What a super cheap year one. Yeah, that's the other thing too. I bought a bunch of wood before the end of year one, thinking, oh, this will be great. I'll have all sorts of wood. Ended up not having as much as I thought I had. I ended up producing way more of it than I needed to. Or not than I needed to, but like, just ended up not using... Or get, getting through it faster than I thought I would, basically. So, yeah. I thought there was one, one down here somewhere. Nope. Okay, there's some up here. That already. I feel like I plant more trees around here too, but. but then I mean 36 stacks of 999. <laughs> Basically buy a chest worth of wood. Yeah, that's fair. Probably should have done that. Alright, let's uh let's get some more fertilizer down. So now we're going into the phase two trees. If I see a phase two. It's in the second phase of growth. I will fertilize it. I just fertilized some phase three trees. Alrighty, and you, and you, and you, oops, and you, and you. Couple up here. Sneak one back here. Uh, <laughs> you want the cowbell? You can't handle that cowbell. That happens so rarely, I'm not used to it anymore. Okay, um... <laughs> Beautiful. Funny story about, uh... Musical instruments. So... Last year, I re um, 
I revive an old tradition. I used to, uh, Illuminati. I used to, um, record a Christmas song every year. Just like a cover of whatever Christmas song. Um, and I haven't done that, or I hadn't done that for a while. And then last year I was like, yeah, I haven't done this in a while. Let me do it again. So I did a Christmas song last year. Um, it was pretty warmly received, if I do say so myself. People seem to like it. Um, oh, that's it. Okay, we're done. Um, so I was thinking I should do it again this year. I should like keep keep with that old tradition and, and do a Christmas cover this year. So I was trying to think of what song I would want to do. And uh, Kent. Let me go gift Kent before I forget. I was trying to think of what song I would want to do. And um, there were a couple of options. One of them is uh, Jesu Bambino, which is a classical song of the season. Um, that I used to be able to play. I, I actually have a really nice arrangement of it that I used to be able to play quite well. Um, but I haven't played it in probably 10 years. <laughs> so I pulled out the music for it. I actually have the music for it right here. I pulled out the music and. Um, but let me just see if, you know, if I have any muscle memory for this or whatever, right? Let me just see if I can play it. No. <laughs> so I've been practicing the last couple of days thinking I could do that. And we long story short, I'm not doing that as my Christmas song this year. It would be kind of hilarious because I would probably do the lead part on my slide whistle. But um, that is not going to be the Christmas song this year. I have another idea of something that I'm working on. We'll see if it comes together. I'm not even going to say what it is because if it doesn't come together, then nobody will know. Uh, okay, so, Kent, let's make ourselves another roasted hazelnut. Jade. Oh, oh, we got some more star fruit done. Grab a truffle, grab this. And that's why I use mini-secrets. <laughs> yeah, I would have to, if I were going to do that, I would have to fake it for sure. Even if I were, like, just sort of play it in, basically, there'd be so much cleanup that needed to be done. It'd be awful. My MIDI cable never forgets its muscle memory. Oh, man. Did I make any more cake? I think I made the cakes already. Uh, all right, so roasted hazelnut for the K-Dog. Apparently I can make five more, too, so that's, I've got lots. I'm not going to need them, obviously, but... Uh, all right, let's go find Kent, give him this, and that should finish our friendship, and then we're going to head to the mine and mine for resources, basically. Doesn't come to, doesn't come together right now. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I have an I have an idea. I should be able to pull it off for I'm giving myself lots of months to work on it. So hey, there's Maru. Can I talk to Maru? No, it doesn't want to talk to me. Alright. Um my own wife just can't be bothered. So we'll grab the fiber while I'm here. There's ten fiber. It's two more uh, tree fertilizers. Just gonna check that garbage can, but just to be safe, I won't do that. Alright, here we go. Is that it? Oh my god. We've got it. We have max hearts with every... Oh, except Maru. Crap. Okay, we almost had it. Um, we have max hearts with everybody else, though, which means no friendship should decline at this point with anybody. I just gotta get Maru up to um, 14 hearts, and we are good. Yes. Yes, queen. All right. Can I come down here and grab some fiber while I'm here, and then we'll head up to the mine. We'll go see if we can find some, uh... Whatchamacallit? Coal and iron and stuff. Even if I have to buy copper, if I can find coal and iron, it'll be... It'll be good. You gotta keep loving your wife, shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, no, it'll be fine. I just gotta do it, that's all. That is the trick. Because who was it telling? Was it you that was telling me, or somebody else was telling me that uh, somebody was trying to do perfection in two years and failed because they got married but didn't keep talking to their their spouse every day, and then ended up fa failing as a result. Which is, you know, sounds like something, something like sounds totally like something I would do. Coffee. Why do I only have 10? That seems strange to me. I feel like I should have more than that. I 
just made a ton of them too. That's weird. Uh, on one playthrough, I filled the bug cave with potted pineapples. Huh. Potted pineapples, you say? Do I want to give Robin 80 hardwood? Probably not. I'd probably rather either use the hardwood to make heavy tappers or sell it. So I don't think I'm going to do any more quests. Uh, mines. Yeah, if, if I ever do this challenge again... And that's a big if. I only imagine the sewer smell. Um, if I ever do this challenge again... I will definitely, like... Focus way harder. Focus way harder on... Uh... Oh, I forgot. I was like, why is iron taking two hits? Because I'm in the hard ones. Focus way harder on, like, making money in the first year, I think, or getting set up to make money, at least, and then everything else can kind of just fall into place. Let's try a money-only challenge. I... Have I done that? I don't think I have. Definitely, I definitely haven't streamed it. I think I've tried doing it for myself, just f for fun. Um, where I kind of set up. Or maybe I started doing one or something. How does that work? I started doing one... Actually, no, we did, we did stream. I don't think we ever finished it. But we did start streaming um, when, Diana, when Diana and I were playing together. Um, we were doing upper, well, at the time it was like the ultimate farm challenge kind of thing where you just have a basic farm just filled with star fruit, as many kegs as you can come up with. You have the 3,000 spots in the farm, you have a thousand kegs, and you just stack cash. Um, oh, I should eat something here. Uh, what can I eat? Guess I'll have a, oh no, I've got apricots for this. Uh, there they are. So yeah, I think I have done something like that. I haven't officially done like, a, oh, try and make 20 million in one year or whatever. I haven't officially done that, but. Uh, best part was selling sewer pineapple to Pierre. Because yeah, Pierre is a trash human being. No wonder Caroline cheated on you, Pierre. Makes perfect sense. You're a trash human being. One of your challenges are pretty intense, yeah. I've I've seen some, like I've seen some uh, some money challenges. They can get kind of um, you kind of have to be a little bit careful because some of the challenges I've seen, you kind of get to the point where if it doesn't go perfectly, there's no point in even trying. You know what I mean? Like if it's not like if you're not instantly having a perfect, you know, if you don't get to get the the um, skull cavern super early and you know you have to get you, ha you have to fish and you have to get a treasure chest if you do not get a treasure chest you fail it's like stuff like that doesn't really excite me where you're having to just spend all the time just resetting days um, but uh, but yeah for me uh, I like a semi-casual two year run yeah Pierre because the splatter is empty um yeah, I would prefer to do kind of a semi-casual run than do a super intense, have to constantly reset days, one year run. Basically, I mean that's just me though, because I like I still I do get very easily distracted. I also don't like sitting on stuff for too long, so. Um, ooh. This coal is worth dying for. One, one year is basically unlocking everything, and then year two is trying to max the wine production and mine for all the time, all the time for fun. Yeah. All right, it is twelve ten. I should probably go. Ooh, all those more coal, coal here though. Oh dear. Might have to eat something again. That's okay. Lots of apricots. How's my thick triple shot doing? It's actually doing okay.
Well, that went poorly. Um, that was... I got a coffee bean, though. Right, let's get out of here. Apricots heal for a shockingly small amount. They do, but I've got so many I can just spam them. Because I was using them for gifts. So... I actually really dig using apricots for my food. My, my general foodstuffs. Uh, okay, let's head back to the house quickly. With a triple shot. Uh, so I can sell whatever I can sell. He chose poorly. Alright, what are we selling? We're going to sell starfruit wines, truffle oil. Here's a question. Bug, is it better? Would it be better for me to make the bug meat into bug steak and sell bug steak, or should I just sell the bug meat? So bug meat sells for eight each. Bug steak takes it sells for 50 each but it takes 10 so i should just sell the bug meat that's wild actually it's actually it's because bait doesn't cost that much either like it's better to sell bug meat than sell bait too even for even though you get five bait per bug meat so it's like bug meat is like a very high valued item um do they heal for more or less than salmon berries i think they heal for more because this is what 38 and 17 and salmon berries are healing effect 25 and 11 so unless you have like a super high quality what is it what did i say it was 38 17 something where is it 38 17 so unless you have a gold quality or better salmon berry yeah it's uh they do not heal they, they apricots heal more than salmon berries usually processing won't improve profit hmm, interesting well, there you go. That's sold, sell, 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 sell. Make one gold from that dwarf scroll. Uh, I'll hang on to those because those can go in the freezer jars. Sell, sell, sell. Keep that for food. Got a bomb. That's good. Uh, all right. Let me grab a gold bar for Maru for the morning. I'll just put it inside the house, actually. One more, one more keg. I'm just going to leave that. Uh, let's put arrow all but one in there. I'm going to take these diamonds. I might, I'm tempted just to sell the diamonds. Like, just straight up sell them all. What else am I going to use diamonds for? I'll sell half of them at least. I'll keep, like, maybe ten. I think I have two in a chest somewhere. Yeah, I'll keep ten just for whatever. And then, um, hearing about the vaccine passport? Can't wait. Quite frankly, bring it on. Uh, okay, so that can stay there. I put some stuff in the mine. I'm, I'm going to be short on copper here. I'm going to have to decide if I want to do some copper mining or if I want to... Um... Just buy it. Uh, tomorrow I have to replant Ginger Island. I think the greenhouse is done tomorrow as well. So I'll we'll probably just do that quick before I go. Um... Oops, didn't mean to do that. That can go there. I'll keep the coffee bean on me because I'm going to be gathering coffee beans tomorrow. That's for Maru. That's for food. That can go to that. This can actually go to the desert for my next Skull Cavern run. I could make some more tree fertilizer, but I won't. I'm not going to do that right now because I need to focus on Ginger Island getting all the star fruit on ginger island done uh so what we're gonna do i'm gonna grab some star fruit we're gonna use this star fruit to just refill whatever kegs are done in the morning um before i do that though put up my last truffle so we're going to uh go, go to sleep for the night holding some iron ore in bed don't mind me maru There we go, 70 grand. That's probably all diamonds, hey? Oh, no, the starfruit wine. How much did I make from diamonds? Uh, be here. 18,000. Sweet. Only made 100 grand that day. That's pretty nice. Okay, 24 of the fall. Starfruit on Ginger Island's done. First thing we're going to do, we're going to give Mari this gold bar. Oh, sweet. She gave me a cherry bomb. If that's not worth a kiss, I don't know what is. Okay, let's throw in some... Let's triple shot. Let's throw in some more starfruit wine. 
Uh, should I do this when I come back? Yeah, maybe I'll do this at the end of the day. I'm gonna be coming back with a ton of star fruit, so... Yeah, maybe I'll do it at the end of the day instead of at the beginning, just in case more pop during the day. Uh, so that can go in there, that's gonna get sold. We have some mead, which or some honey, which I'll actually throw in ke uh, kegs right now to make mead. Okay, this can be... it'll be done. Oh crap, I should've, <laughs> shouldn't have done that. That's okay. Um, okay, so I have a little bit of wood, I can make some more kegs, at least. Got some truffles here as well, that's awesome. Any more truffles right? I'm gonna take a screenshot so I don't have to wander around looking. I'm gonna need that time on Ginger Island today. Uh, so we got one lower one done, but they should all be finishing at the same time. So I'm guessing one's gonna pop here shortly. And there's one up there. So maybe what I'll do is I'll leave that and grab them later. No, I should grab them now though. I'll grab the one that's there that's kind of close by to where I am, and then if the rest of them finish soon, and in theory they should, they should all be on the same on the same schedule. That being said, I don't have enough wood anyways, so <laughs> don't have enough wood to make however many, yeah. Uh, Just the one, hey? I might leave that one then. Like I say, I don't have enough wood to make non cakes anyways, so... Make what I can, I guess. Make six. Um... Yeah, let me just sell a few things. Let me not get carried away here. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Sell that. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, let's go drop some of this stuff in. Kind of tempted to, like, well, I don't know. I was thinking I was tempted to, like, put them in the wine kegs or something, because I'll be done by the time I get back from Ginger Island. But, I mean, I could do for some, I guess, just to get them all done at the same time. There we go. Uh, I will, however, put stuff in these kegs because then I won't have to come back into. The, then I won't, won't have to come back into the basement. <laughs> Just put it in the wrong place twice in a row. There's one. So gap. Oh, that's not organized very well, is it? That is not super optimal. That is not optimal at all. Now, how do you suppose I screwed that up so badly? I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know what happened. Oh, I just totally screwed up my... my like, I only have one row of kegs here, right? so I totally screwed up my, uh, my basement. I was looking away, yeah. My basement kegs layout is suboptimal. All right, let's uh, just ignore all that. Let's, oops, let's go to the, well, let me throw a truffle in there. And let's head to Ginger Island and replant Ginger Island. If I can cut down a few trees on Ginger Island as well, great. Hopefully that'll, um, hopefully that will give me enough wood to make the remaining kegs I need, or the remaining three kegs, I guess. So I only need 90 wood. But while we wait, uh, well actually I'm just gonna sell this stuff right now. Sell, sell. Move that down, move those out of the way. Put that there, all right. Yeah, I'll put that there too. Chop them coconut trees, yeah. I've already have, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, uh, let, me, let me see, maybe some have grown back by now. Uh, what we have, two. There's one there and one there that have grown. And the hardwood trees have only one hardwood tree's grown. Don't really need hardwood though. So I could check here and I could <clears throat> maybe check by the uh, desert trader. Might be a couple trees there. But we'll see. In the meantime, let's plant some star fruit.
So I was looking today at airplanes. I still have uh, the dream of one day getting my private pilot's license. Um, I like how the ostrich eggs in the farm of I know, right? Um, so yeah, I was looking at airplanes today. Just to see if if money were no object, what airplane would I buy? And I think I found one. Oh, hold on. Yep. Was my wife off to save the world. Um, anyways, um, what was I saying? Airplanes. Um, so yeah, I found an airplane I really like. It is the Daher, D-A-H-E-R is the name of the manufacturer, the latest name of the manufacturer. Uh, the TM940, I believe. It's a lovely plane, single engine, turboprop, has a huge range, uh, which I really like. Um, I could almost fly across the entire country in one go. Um, comfortably seat six, I believe. Um, so, you know, if I had friends, I could take them with me. Um, and I could buy one brand new for the low, low cost of, you know, around $5 million. So all I have to do is spend the ten, fifteen thousand dollars it would cost me to get my private pilot, private pilot's license, and then once I've done that, um, just spend another five mil or so, and I can have my dream plane. So yeah, if you see a vlog series on my YouTube channel about me getting my private pilot license and flying my dream plane, you'll know what happened. Anyways, that's not going to happen. Um, the point is, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Aviation is definitely a rich man's game, I'll tell you that. Even if I could get my private pilot license, even if I can afford to do that, uh, that would be a lot of money. Or sell off 1,584 Starford wanted by the plant. That is true. That is true. If I could convert Stardew money into real money, let me tell you something. I would live you know, two years of my life um, in Stardew Valley and, you know, do do all of this stuff. Deal with all of the slimes and spiders and, and ghosts and things. Um, you know, fight all them. Deal with, you know, the wizard poisoning me with whatever stuff. Deal with people thinking I'm crazy because of the Judamos. If Stardew money was real, I don't know, I could just retire. I rather think you. Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> so yeah, I want, I still one day hopefully, probably far in the future, would still love to get my pilot's license. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But it would have to be one of those things where I would have to like, flying would have to be my hobby. Like flying would have to be what I do. Or like teaching or something. Maybe I could do that. I could become an instructor. No, no, that would probably cost more, but, uh, but yeah, one day, one day I hope to be able to, to fly. It's a dream I've had since I was a kid. It's funny because if I had thought about it, you know, in my teenage years, I would have, um, like done it instead of going to college. Like I would have said, forget post-secondary education. Let's, I'll just go become a pilot and become like a, a commercial pilot or whatever. Um... But, uh, yeah. Oh, well. What do you do? But, yeah, now I'm a bit older now. I can appreciate it more. And there's actually a lot that you can even do and learn. I, I'm just interested in aviation just sort of, like, casually. I'm not, like, an aviation aficionado or anything. I can't tell you every plane and every model of every engine of every whatever. But um, there's a lot of things that you can do and learn. I mean, it's 2021, right? You... If you're, if you're hearing the sound of my voice right now, you have access to the internet. So if there's something that you want to learn something you're interested in, go do it. If there's all the information out there that you could possibly 
want to find to be able to do whatever you want to do at some level, even if it's not a, you know, a super duper high level. I have a buddy who has a pretty amazing flight simulator. Yeah. People will, yeah, can do that. Be an airline enthusiast and, uh, you know, set yourself up for, you know, with a f five monitor setup or something and, you know, all the fancy control sticks and stuff and aviation aficionado. Um, you could probably build your own cockpit for not too much money. Oh, probably. You can get kit planes and stuff too. Like, honestly, to, to buy a, if you're going to buy a commercial plane, I think that would probably run. To get like a good one, you know, you'd be looking at, it's still pretty pricey. It'd be something like, you know, 50,000, 60,000, 90,000. Those numbers are all very different, but you get the idea. It's, you know, you'd be looking at the, in the tens of thousands to get a decent use plane kind of thing. Um, but you can get, like, kit planes that are, you know, you can get get a kit plane and you can f make your own plane and fly that for less money, and then, um, um, yeah, you can still put whatever you want to in terms of, like, avionics, like, just, you know, the controls and screens and navigation and whatever. You can do whatever you want to with that stuff, so. There's a lot, there's a lot of ways to get into it, but like I say, just to get your license, though, is, like, even if I had the time... I don't have the money. So, yeah. All right, so we do have 605 starfruit uh, plants on Ginger Island. I'm just going to grab a screenshot to confirm that fact. First flight September or something. Like your first post-COVID flight? Is that what you're saying? Uh, okay, so I think everything... I'm just going to make sure I didn't miss any crops here. Everything looks pretty good. Good. If you see any you're missing anything, holler at me. I'm just doing a real quick scan. Everything looks good. All right. So uh, that's done. So what I'm gonna do right now, before I forget, is I'm gonna go buy more star fruit. Uh, in fact, I think I'm just gonna leave these five right here. No, I'm not. I'm not going to come back here. Am I coming back here? I don't know. Let's go look for more trees. So I know there are no trees you can cut down in the jungle area. Ironic, being that the Amazon rainforest is being <laughs> cut down like that in droves. All of these trees are already cut down. Okay, never mind. So let's go to the fastest way back to the desert is going to be take the obelisk home. We're going to go to the desert. We're going to buy however many more star fruits. Probably 600. I need some at home, too, actually, though. So, oh, before I do anything else, though, today's the 24th. Let me mark down when, when these are going to be done. Uh, so it's the 24th today. So let's pretend it's the... Let's just fall again. Let's pretend it's there. So star fruit with deluxe speed grow. We go up a week and over two days. So the 24th, we go up a week. Over. So it's going to be on the, on the 5th of December is my next. Uh, so winter. I said December, it's winter. Winter 5. GI star fruit is done. Okay. Great. Great. Getting close to the end of fall, too. I'm going to have to harvest these pumpkins pretty quick. Um, Got to be aware of that. But let's go to the desert right now. And we're going to buy 600... How many starfruit do I have in the uh, greenhouse right now? I think I've got... 68, I think, is the number. Because I remember it being a, a number that was almost funny. So let's buy 600 for Ginger Island. Plus the five I have there will count for Ginger Island. And let's just buy another hundred or something. I don't know. Let's just buy like seven hundred. I'm gonna go I'm gonna get through them, so it's not like I'm wasting money doing it. There's seven hundred and five. Um six hundred goes to Ginger Island, hundred stays home. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Okay. Ooh, a tree. Hey, a tree. Any other trees I care about right now? What's that? Today's Wednesday? 
I don't think there's anything I want to trade for on a Wednesday that doesn't trade. But I wouldn't mind if I can remember tomorrow to come back and get the, uh... Get the friggin... Whatchamacallit, the... Magic Rock Candy, that'd be useful. I'm literally keeping Prismatic Shard so I can get Magic Rock Candy. <laughs> How much you want to put? I'm gonna forget about the Magic Rock Candy. Okay. Uh, where to next? Well, I guess I can head back to the house. I could probably finish making the kegs I have. Three kegs? Yes, I can. Okay, let's go back to the house. And, uh... I always forget about the rock candy. Yeah, it's been... <laughs> it's been so long. Ugh. Had... The, uh... Prismatic shards for an embarrassingly long time. And have not converted them into magic rock candy. Oh, I can put some more coffee in here. Um, I'm an idiot. Because I put uh, stuff in the thing with the stuff and didn't do that right. Okay, so let's grab some star fruit. Wait, I already have star fruit. Put that in there. Uh, let's just talk to Maru. Okay, we already have talked tomorrow. Uh, truffle? Do I have any truffles? Keep hugging Mara. Hey, Mara, I'm happy to hug you, but I'm trying to make this, trying to get damn money. All right, so let us place these three kegs. One, two, three. I have no idea how I screwed that up so badly. Because it's supposed to be here and here, then a gap here, and then there and there, and a gap there. Oh, right, because I was doing it horizontally instead of vertically. There's a problem. That's what I get for not double-checking my, uh, my keg layout. So there's a few more kegs I can throw in there, but we'll come back to, come back to that. Uh, let us now go through the house and replenish the kegs of plenty. There we go. I got a couple more over here. Got a few over there. This looks great. How do you mean horizontal? Oh, that means like my, um, actually I'll just show you. I think it has a picture on the wiki that, uh, kegs, keg, um, 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 um. empty cabin, 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 uh, where's the layout for, is it like, cask or right here yeah this was the layout so this was this is what i was hoping to do um i yes i was supposed to do them horizontally but i forgot that i should have made some verticals some like up and down rows of kegs or columns of kegs along the bottom and i didn't do that so that's why this is 125 accessible kegs which is awesome for the uh for the basement Oops. Oh well, whatever. Like I say, there's lots of space on the farm. I can put stuff. One of those could add to the wiki. Very interesting. They've been there for a while, actually. Um, because I've, I've 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 used this before. Um, does it say when this was added? 2016 is when this was added to the wiki. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of weird because it's on the cask page, so it's kind of weird. But um, but yeah, I've yeah. This is like this is the layout I usually use in the. Uh, in the basement, except I usually leave a, like, so there are these kegs right here. I kind of bump them over to the left so I have, like, a clear path to walk all the way to the bottom so I don't have to, like, walk down, walk over, walk around, walk back. It's kind of a silly thing, but, yeah, that's that's what I do. Uh, all right, there's a little bit more coffee I can put in. Thank you. I can sell this meat as well. Um, 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 um. All right, let's divvy up these starfruit seeds. And... Uh, Forgot to make the triple shot. That was a mistake. Sell those. All right, let's divvy up these starfruit seeds. Let me drop some starfruit seeds. Actually, let me just drop them on Ginger Island first, and then we'll come back and deal with stuff at home. That seems like that would make more sense. So, I want 600 and... Well, 5. I'll leave 610 here again, just for paranoia's sake. 
Gonna have more than enough for now in the greenhouse, so I'm not worried about that. Oh, there's a truffle here too. Uh, speaking of greenhouse, let's go in the greenhouse. Uh, drop the rest of these seeds in here. I got 163 in here, which is lots. That's great. Um, yeah. Okay, so that being the case. Okay, let me go and drop stuff off in the house, make the rest of my triple shot. And uh, we can go and look at getting some more wood and some more of everything. Ooh, hey, my ancient fruit wine's done. Sweet. All right, let me drop off. So not trying to hug you, Maru, as much as I love hugging you. Uh, drop that off, drop that off. Make myself some triple shot. Let me grab the coffee first. Then I'll make myself some triple shots. Back up the 12 triple shot. I, I must have I must have just had a day where I went through more triple shot than I was making or something. That seems weird. Uh, okay. So let's go to the Train station. Train station? Pet the dog. Nope, did I already pet the dog today? Can't interact with that. Alright. Um, yeah, let's quickly check the train station. Let me take some trees or seeds with me this time. I keep forgetting to take oak with me. That's Oh, this is the right chest. Where are they? There they are. Uh, so here's a question. Is it faster for me to take the mountain road or to take the mountain obelisk and walk from there? I feel like this is faster. <gasps> a tree. And you have the opportunity to find other trees to cut down. Noise. Incoming, Robin. Just gonna fall a tree on your head. Okay, so we're up to 97. I can make three more kegs. Keg situation is... Oh, got another oak resin here, too. Alright, let's do this. You know what? I think I have, like, enough fiber or something to make maybe two more fertilizers. I did not bring them with me. Whoops. Alright, so we're up to 172 wood. I'm so glad I took that, uh, get extra wood from cutting down trees foraging boost. That's a bit of lifesaver so far. Honestly, the Mountain Obelisk feels the worst to buy. It's only two screens away to begin with, and it's practically the same as the minecarts going to the mines. Yeah, that's the thing. Going to the mines, I, I never use the Mountain Obelisk, for sure. Um, going to the mines, I just walk to the bus and take the minecart, and you're right there. Um, but, I, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like if you're going from your house to the train station, it can be worth it. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, if you were trying to get to the wizard, that would be an interesting question. Would it be faster getting to the wizard to take the mountain obelisk, go up through the train station, take the shortcut through the witch's house to get to the wizard's house? I wonder if that would be faster or if it would be faster to not do that. That would be an interesting experiment. I, I don't feel like it would be faster going all that way, but you never know. It might. It might just. Okay, I am out of resources. I'm super low on copper. I should probably get some copper, but I only have, tw I only have 20 coal. So do I just buy copper? I really hate these levels. These squids are... I'm, you know what, I'm kind of tempted... Honestly... I'm 
I know that I'm going to give up the opportunity to get radioactive ore, which gives up the opportunity to get um, radioactive bars, which gives which passes the opportunity to get heavy tappers. But I'm I feel like I'm close money wise, and I wouldn't mind the mines being a bit easier and more familiar right now. So I might flip the mines back to easy. There's a lot of real estate in the Witch's Island, inside her hut, and inside the shrine below the wizards. Another fun place to grow pineapple pots. I never thought of that. I mean, I'm thinking of it in terms of kegs, but yeah. Pineapple pots are good, too. Um, yeah, because nobody walks there or anything, so you don't have to worry about... That just blew my mind. Which is island inside her hut, inside the shrine below the wizard. That's another great idea. Uh, all right. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I, mm, let's just do that. Because I need copper. Well, I need everything right now. Just one radioactive ore. I'll grab that. One last uh, fling at the radioactive ore. Maybe I can make like one more bar or something. Get one more heavy tapper going somewhere. Well, this is actually a pretty sweet way to farm radioactive ore though. I just keep doing this. I don't know that you get more radio. I don't think the radioactive ore is like iridium in the skull cab. I don't think you get more the further down you go, do you? I don't, I don't know if you do that. But this is like a super quick way of doing it. And I already have five. So I'll have one more bar than I would have had otherwise. Hey. Cause can I sneak in sneak two more radioactive bars in here? How much do I have now? Like seven? Oh, I have eight. I get one more no, but I'm going to make two more. Radioactive bars will actually benefit from the blacksmith perk. It's pretty annoying. Oh, they don't? Oh, that's, that is kind of sad. Um, I'm literally, like, I'm literally only doing it for the, uh, for the heavy tappers, just so I can get a bit more oak resin. Not that oak resin is a real problem for me right now or anything. Like, let's be clear. Wood is the issue. But, uh... If I could sneak one more bar, that would be sweet. Couple more. I also like that the, the mines completely respawn as soon as you leave now, instead of waiting the 10 minutes. I mean, it's sad for the mushroom farming. <laughs> can't Can't really mushroom farm anymore, but... It's great for, like, if we're doing this, if you're trying to spawn radioactive ore, or you try and go for baddies, or whatever. Elevator reloads on floor. Oh, really? Can you get radioactive ore on elevator? I didn't think you could, you could even get ore on on mine levels, could you? Or on, like, elevator levels. Whoops. Can you get ore on on... On elevator levels? Only on the hard mines. Oh! Didn't know that. Well then. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna be sad if I don't get, uh... Ooh, that guy's coming for me. That's a rock crab, but I think I, I need a rock crab, actually. I need to get that rock crab. Oh, no, not dead, it's not dead, it's not dead. There we go. I do need more rock crabs, so... And void spirits. Void spirits are definitely good for that. I think I have all the void spirits now, just rock crabs I need. There's a rock crab there too, but I really want to get one more piece of radioactive ore, two more pieces of radioactive ore. 
Like, come on. Give me... I was doing so well for a while there. I just need, like, one more node. The Savage Ring? I have not tried... The... Honestly, I haven't tried a lot of most of the rings. I've definitely not tried the Savage Ring. Um... The only rings I really use... Like, Iridium Band, Burglar Ring... I used a Glow Stone Ring for a while. Um... Until I had my Iridium Bands. Um... So right now, what do I have on right now? I've got a Glowstone Ring and I have a, um... Burglar and Iridium Band combined. So... That's what I have going on right now. Dang it, I'm not gonna get another... Is it worth passing out for? I mean, kind of. Oh, come on. Come on, Stardew Valley video game. You gave me eight, you're not gonna give me ten? It's not gonna give me ten, is it? I'm starting to think. Get the savage ring from killing voids gets you a speed boost on killing an enemy. You oh really? That would be that would be pretty wild with the uh, with the hammer with hammer spamming. <gasps> Found it. Please give me at least two. Yes, there we go. Get me out of here quickly. Just gonna put this on the way by and race home. Bust up. As is the only way to get plus three speed. Interesting. That would be kind of fun, actually. Just spam all the baddies and just be flying around everywhere. Okay. Oh, I can make four more kegs. I have to do that. Save that for tomorrow, though. Am I going to make the house? Yes, I am. I have those two. Am I going to make bed? Yeah, why not? Copper Fronts. What's up, Copper Fronts? How you doing? What is up? A uh, hundred grand? Oh, that pays for half of the starfruit I bought. Alright, so, gold bar for Milady Maru. Milady. We're just, just around the corner, we need to double check the heating system, turn off all the valves, and check all the insulation in the house. Don't worry, I'll take out all of it. Yes, you will, because I can't even do that. Doing good, but what about yourself? You know what? I mean... The more... Um, documentaries I watch about the environment, the more depressed I get. But other than that... Watch another one tonight. Uh, other than that... Can't complain. You know what? Ask me again tomorrow, because Wednesday is, is weigh-in day. I weigh myself Wednesday mornings. So we're going to see if me controlling my diet over the last week, a bit better than I did the previous week, and doing more exercise this week is going to help. Um, is it actually going to help my weight, or if I'm, <laughs> or if, or if it's a lost cause for my 42-year-old ass? Uh, all right, let me throw down some more kings. Grab some more star fruits. Oh, I guess I might have yet more kegs and more starfruits to put down, but whatever. Uh, ooh, hello. I guess I need more starfruit. I'll be right back. Anyways, and I should also perhaps... Boop, there we go. I don't know if I want to drink triple shot right now, but... Okay, uh... Starfruit, starfruit, starfruit. Boop, boop. Lovely. Put down these four kegs. Oops. Yeah, you think I would have noticed my kegs weren't lined up when I put these guys here? Because these guys are all in the right spot, but oh well. So I got one more keg I can put in here, then we'll be done with this, and then I can start working on the... Actually, no, I'm not going to work on the bus tunnel first. I'm going to work... I'm going to do... Um... Uh, what's his face? Um, do the uh, uh, town. 
So much keg. Oh, much keg. Wow. Um, yes, all of the kegs. L literally all of the kegs. As many kegs as humanly possible. I'm in dire need of a lot of kegs. Just need so many kegs. It's just, it's just an absolute embarrassment and a shame on what in the name of all that's holy is going on here? There we go. Um, is everything going to plan? I think so. <laughs> I think so. I, 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 I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I, I think I should be able to pull it off. I don't know that for a fact yet, though. That's the only thing. In theory, it should all come together. Will it actually? I have no idea. So time will tell. I'm still I still gotta you know still gotta put in some work. Still gotta grind out some some kegs and things. But um, but yeah, fingers crossed. You know, it'll all work out. The good news is it's going to be winter soon, in game. And that means <gasps> magic rock candy. Doesn't mean magic rock candy. What that does mean, however, is um, there'll be a few less things to do. I can get rid of the pig in the winter because the pig isn't going give, to give me any more truffles. I can cut down those fruit trees up there so they're not going to be useful to me. I'd rather, rather have the wood. Um, so yeah, things are kind of, you know. I have concerns. Um, but you know, it, you know, it could be worse. Potentially. I guess I could put more kegs in the kitchen too, couldn't I? Let's do that. All right. Uh, okay. You know what? I always use one of these kegs to make some wine. Let's just do that. Okay. So that can go in there. I mean, the good news is that, that, well, I mean, ideally I'd be able to keg all of this stuff before, like, before the end of the year, but I won't, which is kind of good in that I will be able to keep putting high value stuff in kegs, but kind of not good because that means I don't really have enough kegs to keg everything, which is a bit of a problem. So, I mean, I guess in theory, I could probably sell the rhubarb right now. Um, I could probably even sell some pumpkins, but I'm going to hold off on that and We'll, you know, we'll sell them at the last second if it comes to that. Anyways, that's my life. How's yours? Did I tell you guys about my... I must have... Must have told you guys about my MRI. How I've, how I've had an MRI recently on my shoulder because my shoulder is still bugging me after I injured it last year. And I fell, I fell asleep. <laughs> I went into the MRI. They're like, hey, what do you want to listen to? I'm like, I don't know, throw me some classical. Guy was like, wow, nobody ever asked for classical. I'm like, I mean, I have taste, what can I say? Um, didn't say that. But, uh, but yeah, I, ended up, I was out. I was like completely out cold. Okay, what I'm going to do right now before I forget, because I will, is I'm going to go to the desert and buy myself a, trip, a magic rock candy. Getting old is so cool. Man, shoot. The thing about it is, you know, it's like when, when people say youth is wasted on the young. Like, at the point in my life I'm at now, I, f I feel that in my soul. <laughs> like, you, because honestly, if I had even remotely appreciated, or, un or even understood, I didn't even understand when I was young how awesome being young was. If I had understood it... Crap, I'm a dumbass. Why didn't I plant trees in the desert? Crap. I should have planted... planted I should have just filled the desert with tree. Crap! Dang. Oh well, next time. Uh, I'm not doing it now, because they, be, they won't grow till the end of winter now, so it's like, what am I going to do at the end of winter with the wood? There's no point in me making kegs or anything. I mean, I guess I could buy, you know, get the wood to sell it, but that's too much trouble. I'm not doing that. All right, let me grab a magic rock candy and three staircases. And... 
a lot of omnis there. I feel like I could do better with those omnis, but I'll do that later. Desert where I plant trees for sure. Yeah, that was an oversight. Okay, so one magic rock candy finally. Uh, and staircases, staircases, staircases. Staircases are on Sunday. Don't know why I thought I could get staircases today. It was bombs I was probably thinking of. Uh, so let's leave the jades there. Anything else I want to take home with me? Probably don't need quite that many void essences. Mainly just food, farm totems. Might take a bite. I don't know. I turned 33 on Sunday and I already feel so old. Man, shoot. 43 is going to be rough. Yeah, well. I'm almost there. Um, 33. Even when I was 33, I was like... I... I was talking about last I was talking about last night or last night I was talking about how like I didn't hit my prime physically because I didn't know what I was doing until my late 20s early 30s like that's when I was my fittest and my skinniest and my like rippedest and whatever um so even 33 was like I was still doing okay at 33 my prime was like 22 yeah most for most normal people if you know what you're doing yeah you take care of yourself and when you're in your 20s you're as good as you're ever gonna be not this guy. I had a very strange... Atypical childhood. Anyways, um... That's a sob story for another time. Okay, so let's go to... So here's a question. Would it be faster... It's gonna be faster to go this way. I wanna go to the train. So let's just go to the mines. Can I put anything in here? Nothing but gold, which I'm not about to do right now. So let's go to... <gasps> Wait a second, I can make a couple more heavy tappers. That's good. Oh, I see a tree over there too. Let's cut that down. Anyways, the point is that, like... That's one thing I've noticed about myself, is that, like, mentally I need to be... Or physically... I need to be physically 20 years younger. Like, even for, in fact, music and stuff. I needed to be where, like, musically... Where I'm at now, musically, I needed to be there, like, 15, 20 years ago, and then... I might have had some success, but uh, sadly, it was not meant to be. Oh my goodness, I'm absolutely wetting the bed here. There we go. Couple more trees. How many? What am I targeting? I'm targeting 180. Oof. I'm not convinced I'm going to get 180 from all this. And I really don't want to go back into Cinder Sap. Uh, you know what else I need to do? I'm going to write this down for the 28th. Or even like Winter 1, maybe? I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm... Hmm. Because what, what day of the month is it right now? It's the 25th. I can harvest the farm whenever. So what, maybe what I'll say is... Um, cut down all trees. On a, on a, if I don't do it that day, whatever. It's no big deal. But... Um, because the trees don't grow in the winter, I don't think. So I just need to make sure that every tree I can find, I cut down. So to be honest with you, I don't really know why I'm planting all these. Why am I planting all these? No idea. Oops. But I do have 12 fertilizers, so let's use 12 fertilizer. Let's see if we can get a few more of these trees grown. Hoping to avoid buying wood, if I can at all avoid buying wood. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to avoid buying wood. Got three more. Uh, let's find three babies. Let's find three babies. I don't know, I could do like that one. Maybe do this one. And, ooh, this one right here. There we go. Okay. Uh, Alright. So we've got enough to make three more kegs. I need, I need 60 more, or 90 more wood. Or I guess 70 more wood. Where am I going to get 70 wood? Oh, there's a tree. I can do that. Oh, I actually just realized something. 
I can get rid of all my hazelnuts now. Uh, you know what, let me check this cooking thing again, because there's a thing with some stuff, it's a whole thing, it's a bit of stuff. So with the hazelnuts, it takes three hazelnuts to make roasted hazelnuts. So if the hazelnuts, so literally there's no point in me making roasted hazelnuts. Because even if it's, even if the hazelnuts are regular quality, they still sell for as much as the three hazelnuts. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that sucks. I keep thinking, for, I don't know why I think this, but I keep thinking that if you craft something into something different or better or whatever, it'll sell for more than... But clearly... I thought there was something that was like that where you could do that, but I guess not. Oh well, whatever. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, you know where else, where else I can possibly check for trees? It's right here. There's a couple trees. These trees are still doing their thing. Might even... There's 90. Look at that. I can make three more kegs. Nice. Just enough. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this is how dire the wood, situ wood situation is right now. It's so dire, I'm like just barely squeaking these kegs in like it's just so close to i'm just so close to not having enough wood right now Ugh. that's okay you know what i've got how many kegs do i have now i've got 677 so i mean that's not bad, right? In theory. In theory, that's not bad. In theory. Alright, well. Um, holy cow. Holy cow. Okay, well, actually, another thing I have to do is I have to make... Uh, there's not. Sell that. Sell those two. And that. I have to make industrialized food is killing the people. You can't care for this many kegs. Sure I can. My bank account can't... This is literally, like... I don't know why more people don't play video games. Like, if you're just all about capitalism, this is absolutely your game. Like, this is... You can literally just... There's no consequences for... Just, like, cutting down every tree... Um, and, uh, you know, making money from it. There's, like, no... Do not worry about the long-term environmental effects of anything. You can just make as much money as you want and, like, just, just cuz. Not like anything to spend the money on, like, even if you want to buy the golden clock, and realistically, why would you want to buy the golden clock? Why would you want to spend 10 million gold to buy the golden clock in this game? It's not really worth that. Um... Hey, what's up, Fennec? Yes, I'm in year two. Money changes my environment. <laughs> exactly, right? Like, it's literally, this is just like the capital, capitalist dream doing this game. All right, I'm gonna go see if I can get, can I, can you, do you get 30 wood from the secret, secret? I don't know, let's find out. Imagine if there's a way to guarantee tripling your money like you can with one, I know, right? How are you so good? Man, shoot. Thank you for the compliment. Um. So yeah, the Perfection in Two Year Challenge. This is, yeah, this is Fall of Year Two. Um, I'm not... So here is my official... Uh, statement. On my progress. My official statement on my progress is... That I think I'm going to make it. Um, but I don't know for sure. That is my, that is my official, that's my word. When my word is born, as the kids say. They don't say that anymore. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to make it. The big, the, the big and only problem, let's be clear, is coming up with enough money to um, buy the golden clock. As the kids say in, 1990, in 1993. Yeah, you're not wrong. 
Um, the golden clock is the problem. Making the 10 million... I literally have everything else, or will have everything else. Uh, in fact, you know what, let's let's take a look right now. Let's, let's check up the checkup. And let's see where I'm at. So I just finished Friendship, except with my wife, Maru. Um, but that's just, I mean, that's in the bag. I need 515 more points. That's going to be uh, another week, maybe, in game. Not even. Um, is, is the phrase, where is born or where is born? Born. Um, but let's have a look at the Perfection Tracker. So, I have all the obelisks. I've shipped all everything I need to ship. I've maxed out my friendship. I've maxed out my farming levels and all the crafting, cut all the fish, found all the golden walnuts. The cooking recipes I can't do because you don't get certain recipes until the end of the year. So like every Sunday, basically, I just got to watch the TV. I'll get a new recipe, make that recipe. The last recipe you get on the last day of year two. So it's not possible to do this before the last day of year two. Um, all the star drops, the only star drop I need, uh, the only star drop left that I have to get is the one from my spouse. So um, that's just a matter of, like I say, it's going to be probably five days, uh, five or six days in game. Um, the Monster Slayer hero, not a huge deal. I have three rock crabs, 33 mummies, and 57 serpents. So a few skull cavern runs. Um, we'll probably bang that out. The rock crabs. I should go get some rock crabs, actually. That would be a good idea. I should do that. Get those out of the way. Uh, yeah, so I'm not worried about that. I have all winter to do that. Um, apparently Bond and Born are both slang for the 90s according to Urban Dictionary. I'm going to say like where is Born, but it's because they put a New York accent. Where's Bond? Huh. Crazy. Um, the more you do, 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 the more you know. Uh, so yeah, I basically have everything. The only problem is getting the golden clock, for the, getting the 10 million gold for the golden clock. Now, let's be clear. If I was a better Stardew Valley player, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I'd probably have the golden clock already. Um, but because I'm me... Do you mean to tell me that after all the trouble I went through to get a prehistoric scapula, just friggin' dug one up out of the ground? You know how long it took me to get... I don't know whether I should be upset right now... or what. Okay, um, we'll gloss over that. I'm gonna go sell it right now. Screw you, prehistoric scapular. So I'm not gonna put my heavy tapper down until tomorrow. There'll probably be some, um, some stuff. I just wanna sell it radioactive ore. If I don't, hmm, should I, uh, I'll sell it later. Um, cause if I do end up putting the mines back to hard mode, I'll get more radioactive ore. Um, yeah, so there'll probably be some oak resin that will finish tomorrow, so I'll replace a regular tapper with a heavy tapper tomorrow, or something. Um, 6.20pm, let's, let's go see if we can get these rock crabs banged out. Let's go do that. So let's do that. So yeah, the, the, the big goal right now is to make enough money to get the golden clock. Um, I should be able to do it, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, where's the best place to get rock crabs? Uh, do, 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 levels 1 to 29. Iridium crab. I wonder if I should just do a go to the skull cavern, maybe. Maybe I will, because... Yeah, maybe I'll just... I mean, it's, okay, it's late. But I don't have to use, like, triple shot or anything. I can just... Or I don't have to use, like, um... Whatchamacallit. Spicy eel or whatever, I don't need the luck. Let's go to the Skull Cavern. Take that with me. And, um... I'm not gonna bother emptying my inventory, let's just go. We'll just go until we're done going. I mean, I'll take a little bit of food with me. <laughs> Just because I have so much of it. So let's start with... I'm going to eat a... Um, you know what? Actually, crab cakes. I think crab cakes are the play right now. Because honestly... Why wouldn't they be? Maybe I'll just take a bunch of these one-off food things. Just in case I need some of that. 
And I'll take some staircases and some bombs. Um, and stuff to make mega bombs. And some stone. Okay, so let me eat these crab cakes. That will help with my health and everything, and energy and stuff. There we go. All right, got double speed. See if we can find us some rock crabs and some serpents. And there's a serpent. Nice. Uh, this is actually Bomb City right here. Let's, let's do some bombing. Boop. All right. May as well, while I'm here, grab this ore. Oh, and we got a drop shaft and everything. Let's, let's drop it like it's hot. We'll just walk to the end of this level. Psych! Oh, I, oh, I was gonna say, gonna say I juked him out, but clearly I did not do that. Or with that guy. Got some coal, though. Coal is, coal is good. Now, I don't think any of these guys... I'm so used to seeing them in the, the hard mines now that uh, I keep thinking, oh, the gold should give me crabs too, but the gold should give me crabs. I've done all the pepper rexes I, I want. There comes another serpent. Ooh, there's some coal down there. Let's grab that. Oh, and we got a ladder. I tell you, the skull caverns are so much more chill when you're not stressing out about... Anything. I'm so used to stressing out about, uh... Trying to get down as far as possible, and... Trying to do all the things. Do I care? Um, let's grab a little screenshot here. What am I even here for right now? I don't know. I guess rock crabs or something? The serpent over there... Yeah, it's not worth going over there for that. Alright, ladder. Oh, my inventory's full. Uh, let's throw some stuff out here. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. Uh, is there anything I want to eat? Not particularly. I guess the radish salad would be the next play, probably. Diamond. Let's grab that too. Uh, oh, there's a ruby down there. That's good for uh, spicy eels. Now, here's a question, actually. Um, maybe I shouldn't be trading for any more spicy eel, because I have quite a bit. And I'll bet you a ruby sells for more than a spicy eel. So maybe I shouldn't uh, be trading in all my rubies now. I probably shouldn't. Okay, I'll break a few of these rocks, but honestly, if I don't get a ladder or something, I'll just stare out of here. This level is not my jam. God, I'm missing. There we go. Yeah, I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh, my triple shot ran out. Do I care? Uh, you know what? Do I even care about that right now? Don't know what I do. Spiral Thor sucks. It really does. I remember, like, <laughs> I remember early in the game, I used to get super excited about them because I would think, like, oh my goodness, it's great. There's going to be so many barrels and stuff at the beginning, and it's going to be awesome. And now I see it, I'm just like, ugh. I'll break, like, five rocks and be like, oh, I'm done. All right, this calls for a staircase. <laughs> this level. Also not one of my favorites. Oh, got some copper, though. Yoink. Uh, yoink, there we go. That was the old tricky yoink there. I'd really like a staircase, but I don't even know what the luck is today, to be honest. I'm not even sure what the luck is today. Give me layout 38 every time. Which one's layout 38? Is that the small room? Or like the figure eight room? There's a ladder. Okay, uh, maybe I will just shout out on this uh, fruit salad. 
Uh, this right here calls for one of those, I would say. I'm actually surprised I'm not seeing as many... Seem, it must be a good luck day. Because I'm not seeing a lot of enemies or anything. I mean, I've seen a handful, but like... Big open mummy floor with a cold backpack? Oh yes, that's a good one. Those were fun. I'm a little disappointed I'm not seeing more baddies. Okay, it, does this mean it's a good luck day or a bad luck day? I have no idea. Oh, there's a serpent. Drop shaft as well. Excellent. Every serpent counts. It's getting late. Alright, I'll head back to the farm. Let me just uh, scoot to the end of this level. Like, normally, be, normally I would be upset at only getting to level 15 on the Skull Cavern run, but it's like right now, got got some coal, got 47, up to 47 coal now. According to Blade, enemy spawns aren't determined by luck at all. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, my inventory's full. Um, whatever. One more. Oh, I'll take the copper. I do need the copper for sure. I should have probably brought a farm totem with me, actually. That would have been smart. Gonna leave the gold. Don't really care. Not worth the time. All right. Let's get out of here. How much time do I have left? <laughs> 11 minutes on my crab cakes. Okay, that should last me until the end of the day. Never have enough copper in your life. Hey. All right, let me leave this food behind. Got 39 spicy yell. It's probably enough. Leave the bombs. Leave that stone, I guess. The omni. I'll leave a hundred omnis here. That must be enough for everything I need. I would think. Uh, leave those guys for. I'll leave a hundred of those. Um, for mega bombs, if it comes to that. Uh, let me just check the ruby values. So, oops, ruby sells for 250. Spicy eel sells for 175. So definitely, 39 spicy eel is enough for all day speed up for two weeks. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, I have enough of that. So I guess the rubies I can start selling. Um, I'm probably not going to need to buy any more spicy eel, let's be honest. Um, anything else I want to take home? I don't think so. That's all food. I've got those rings in case I want to do something with that. I'll sell those rings later on. We've got a couple warp totems. That's fine. Got two magic rock candy, which is awesome. Tons of magma caps. The jade can stay here. Uh, oil of garlic. Uh, and then the rest of that stuff can come home with me. All right. Let's go sell some stuff. And, uh, yeah. Let's get to selling. <clears throat> okay. So, 1 a.m. Um, just out of curiosity, because I know that the game was changed to make things finish first thing in the morning, but I was wondering if any more oak resin finished. It did not. Uh, Sue, so let's grab three of something. Crystal fruit, for example. Throw them in here. Oops. A, that gets sold, 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 that gets sold. Uh, that gets sold. <laughs> the wood situation is just dire right now. I leave anything in here. I guess I could throw this radioactive bar in here. In theory, I should have. Uh, maybe I'll keep it on me because in theory, I should have enough hardwood tomorrow. I should be able to get enough hardwood tomorrow to make one more heavy tapper. Um, maybe I'll keep the fiber on me. Grab some stone to keep on me. And then I got some ore and stuff that can that can deal with it. Mine can make two more copper bars, so that's good. I'm gonna have to break down and buy some copper or something. Like I'm not gonna be able to. Oh, we got a few... oh, we got some more wine done as well. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, 
Let's throw this in the oil maker. So tomorrow we are going to have to do the greenhouse, I think. Um... Let's just check. Let's let's let's, let's, give, let's give a look. See see what's going on. Thirty six grand. Sold some star fruit wine. I'm feeling uh, positive. At, cer at a certain point, I just use spicy eel as my only food stack. That would be nice. That would be nice. Oh, let me get Maru a gold bar. There we are. Should we go to the Spirit Eat Festival tomorrow night? Uh yeah. That golden pumpkins are worth like five grand or something. Heck yeah, we should. Well, I don't know why I'm doing all this stuff. I gotta... Alright, so what's in the mail? What do we have? Linus sent me some sashimi. Uh, Spirit's Eve, I want to get that golden pumpkin. So we've got a handful of oak resin. It doesn't look like any of my oak resin from normal tappers pop. It's all heavy tappers. We do need to hit the greenhouse, so make sure we do that. Uh, what else? We got here done? No. So, okay, here's what we're going to do. Let me start taking some notes here. So, we're going into fall 26. Wow. What a run it has been. I'm starting to feel the end now. So, we need to um, make one more heavy tapper and stick it someplace. Stick them someplace. Um, tw fall 27, fall 27, that says 28, fall 27, get the golden pumpkin. Uh, so what else are we doing this day? We just do that, uh, greenhouse, this today, uh, we gotta figure out what we're doing for kegs, um, I mean, it's part of me is tempted to, um, part of me is tempted just to buy everything I need for all the kegs I need and not worry about it anymore. Um, but I'm not sure because the amount of money that would cost, I mean, I guess the sooner I do it, the better, because then I can make that much more money from them. But how much is that going to cost me? Like, is that going to cost me, you know, a million gold and then I'm down a million and not going to make that million back? Or am I going to make a million back anyways? I don't know. I don't know what the plan is there. I don't know what the play is. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that. Uh, do you just buy kegs? And the reason I'm asking this is, let me, 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 let me do some math. So let's say, so I've got four weeks left so it's going into this summer 26. So I've got, if I were to put kegs down to, and fill them today, that means I would have one, two, three, four harvests from those kegs. I'm already making a million and a half from the kegs I've got. Let's say I want to make another million from that because that four harvests, that would be 10 million right there. So I'd make 10 million for sure. Yes, I'd have to spend, I still have to spend roughly a million, but I might make that back in star fruit straight up. Because 600, 600 times 750 is 450,000. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so hold up a second. When is my star fruit, no, when's my next star fruit done? On the 5th of winter. Habu indicated that if you get two harvests, you pay for the keg, but that's in year one money. I got, I got to just do the math on this. So my next starfruit harvest is the 5th of winter. So I get, I've already bought the starfruit for that. So I've got 14th of winter and the 23rd. Oh, wait a second. No, wait, hold on. My next harvest is the 5th. I've already bought the starfruit seeds I need for that. Then I harvest on the 14th and plant on the 14th. Then I harvest on the 23rd, but I don't replant on the 23rd. So I only need to buy one more batch of starfruit. One more, one more big batch of starfruit. 
which is 240,000. So let me think. So if, if I was going to make another million. So, okay. One, let's say I wanted to make two and a half million per week for the rest of the, in terms of Starfruit wine money. So divided by 3150, I would need 793 kegs. Good Lord. Oh, and how many do I have right now? Oh, I have 677. That's not terrible, actually, because I have six. Well, we'll call it 660 right now. Um, so I would need another 130. Let's say 130. Let's say 130 kegs. 130 kegs. All right, so let's do some math here. 130 kegs. So every keg is five copper... Um, copper ore. Purchase price is one fifty a piece. Totally feasible. It totally is feasible. But what, what, what what I'm wondering is, can I buy the copper? So one hundred fifty times five is what four fit? No, six hundred seven fifty. Hundred seven fifty. So at 750, so for every one shed of kegs, oh yeah, I'm not worried about the space. It's more the, oh, well, let's find out. So so we need, for every keg, we'd be 750 for the copper. Let's say I'm gonna buy the iron. Let's say I'm gonna buy it, buy them outright. Just ignoring everything I currently have and everything I'm going to be getting as well. So iron ore, uh, 250. So at 250 times five is 1250. So we need 1250 in iron. So that's going to be oak. No, yeah, that's right. Okay. And then the oak resin is still a problem. But again, I'd be buying stuff as we go. The oak resin is still a problem. Whatever. We'll figure it out. So the wood. Uh, how much is wood right now? If I were to buy the wood from Robin. The wood is 50 gold. I need 30. So 3 times 5 is 15. So it's 150 that's three. Fifteen, what? Fifty gold times thirty is fifteen hundred? Is it really? Good lord. Yeah. Okay, so fifteen hundred in wood. So that totals thirty-five hundred. So I could spend three hundred and fifty thousand gold and have all the materials I need to make all the kegs that I need to make. It would only be a question of whether or not I could get enough oak resin. So I'd have to put the mine, I'd have to put the regular mine back to hard mode. Sounds like a bargain, it kind of does. It kind of does. Because I need those 3,500 cost. I need 100 kegs, that's, yeah, that's 350,000. Coal. I would need I would need two hundred coal as well. Forgot to factor that in. Um, need coal to smelt all that. Coal's two fifty a piece, so that's the same as iron, right? Iron was two fifty, I think. Yep. Yeah, so it's twelve fifty for coal to smelt all. Oops, twelve fifty to coal to smelt all those. That's coal. And we'd say for 100 kegs, we're going to say equals the sum of uh, E2 to E5 times E7. So it's, it's half a mil. Cool year two, I know, right? Um, oh, I love that emote, though. Uh, so it's a half a mil. I could spend a half a mil. And that would make me enough. That actually does kind of seem worth it. It really kind of does. If I can get 100 oak resin. That's the problem. Oak resin is the problem. Now, the other thing is, I'm not really doing anything in the game right now. Like, there's going to be, you know, a couple of days where I got to plant and reharvest. There's going to be a couple of days, like, I got to clean up the farm here before winter, get all the everything harvested. Um, but I'm not really doing anything other than that. 
Do you have tappers already? I don't have a hundred. I would need, well, I would need, um, well, I would need a hundred and I do not have a hundred. I probably have, uh, well, what, what I'm thinking is I would probably just put the mine back on hard mode and just grind out radio radioactive ore, basically. I've got 55 tappers right now. That's going to give me, because they harvest, they go every week, right? So that's going to give me, I've probably, I think I, I think all of them actually are on trees, I think. So 55 is going to give me, well, 200. This it would actually, in theory, would give me 100 oak resin in two weeks. And how many heavy tappers do I have? 20 which is going to give me another, in that same two week period, would give me another 60. So in one week I'd have 55, 75. So I mean, really I could get another 100 oak resin in, you already have enough. Yeah, like I wouldn't have enough to do it today. I couldn't make 100 tech, tech right now, which I, which I kind of would need to do. Because again, so if, that, if I were going to get 2.5 million every week, that's assuming I already have the kegs. But I don't have the kegs because I don't have the oak resin. So I'd still want to put some heavy tappers down, which I could totally do. Or I could just buy more copper, just make regular tappers. I'm already buying the copper wood anyways. I bet you if I took 25,000... If I took 25,000, if, if I was going to spend a half a mil. The thing about it is, though, let me think about this. Maybe I do, because I already have two and a half million. If I were to just buy the materials, and even if I didn't make any more tappers, I could buy the materials and just make kegs as we go. I'd have the extra 100 kegs in um, two weeks, less than two weeks, basically. It's probably, yeah, like a week and a half, let's say. So that would still give me three potentially, let's check the calendar again. Uh, it is the 26th. So if I did that, if a week and a half, that would still give me two, buy a Lambo and a couple chains. Uh, see, this is the problem is that two and a half weeks from now or no a week and a half a week and a half I only end up getting two million harvests or two harvests right but I'm still going to make a bit of money in the meantime see this is the problem is I, I, I'm sure I'm going to make it I'm pretty confident I'm going to make it but I don't know for sure this is the problem so I think I should still try it even if I don't I think what I should do is if I I'll keep doing what I'm doing but if I don't have a certain material also grind and sell radioactive ore that is true that is true how much does that sell for um, radioactive so bars sell for 3,000 the ore sells for 300 so actually worth it to make bars it's not a really about extra money. Yeah, true story. Um, so I, th I think what I should do is I should probably keep doing what I'm doing. I'll keep trying to get my own ore, my own coal, whatever. I've got the time in, ter in terms of gameplay. Um, maybe I'll just do Skull Cavern stuff because really then I'll get some Iridium potentially I'll, and I'll be able to bang out the Monster Hunter goals as well. Um... And at the end of it all, I'm still going to have crops to sell, even if I don't quite make two and a half million dollars a week for the rest of the game. Um, I'm still going to have crops and stuff to sell, so I should be able to make it. So what I'll do is I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. But if I'm short on wood or if I'm short on whatever I or 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 whatever or I'm short on, I will go buy it. Um, knowing that, yes, I'm still going to harvest some of my own to save the money, but um, I need to make sure that every time I get an oak resin, I turn it into a keg and put a star fruit in it. Is That's basically what needs to happen. Every stinking time I get an oak resin, it needs to be a keg immediately. And it needs to have star fruit in it. And then we'll see what happens. 
and we'll see what happens. So the plan doesn't really change. Um, I'll still make the heavy, I'll still make the last couple of heavy tappers as I can. I'll just stick them on whatever trees, wherever. Um, kegs, buy them if you need to. Um, yeah, we'll get the golden pumpkin tomorrow. I, there's, there's probably going to be some crops done on the farm tomorrow as well, so we'll probably do that. Uh, or on the 27th, rather. Um, I want to get the golden pumpkin as well. If not, on the 28th, we'll cut down every tree we can find. We will harvest the farm. Uh, actually, maybe I'll wait till winter 1 to cut down the trees. I don't know if, if trees grow overnight. Um... going into winter like if you have a tree that's kind of grown on the 28th of fall will it grow again on the first one not sure so we'll wait till winter winter one to cut down the trees on um, the fifth the star fruit's done 15th we get a pro from the night market and yeah we're gonna buy some kegs that's the plan that is the plan for next time